Well, I met our speaker tonight a couple of years ago, and he impressed me, um, and I'm so thrilled he's here to speak for us tonight. He is a pastor of two of our sister churches in Licking County, Pleasant View United Methodist Church and Long Run United Methodist Church. Uh, he also uh, has a lot of other involvements in our community. You, you'll notice as soon as you see him, he looks like Santa Claus. And the, his license plate, his Ohio license plate is M.E. Santa, me Santa. Now, M.E. are his initials, so that's kind of cool. And I was just talking with him about his wife. They've been married for 39 years, Evelyn Tolliver. And her, her um, official license plate is E.T. Phone Home. Evelyn, Evelyn Tolliver, E.T., get it, E.T. Phone Home. So between Santa and E.T., they just got it made. But uh, he has a unique ministry known as the Painting Parson, where he speaks and paints, and it's a very meaningful, uh, I think, and moving experience. So for all of our friends who are tuning in and all of you who are here, would you please help me give a very warm welcome to Reverend Gene Tolliver. You got it. Is it on? All right. <laughs> Hey, I, I thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be here. Um, I'd rather be here than doing taxes. And I just love to do taxes. <laughs> I have a, uh, a picture in this canvas here that is dying to be released. So... If you'll give me a minute, I will uh, see if I can uncover this thing. So in the beginning, God, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was over the face of the deep. But God said, let there be light. And there was light. And so I'm going to try to release some light here. That wasn't good. I know I'm kind of blocking the way of seeing this, but uh, you're going to bear with me a second here.
So when God said, let there be light, he didn't call it back. So it kept on going. In fact, it's still going. Scientists say that the um, universe is expanding at the speed of light. Although I don't think they've quite figured out why. John, <clears throat> John said, uh, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It said, not one thing was made without him. And he sent a man to bear witness. His name was John. And John was the witness to the light. That was the light of mankind that had come into the world.
Back in <clears throat> Michelangelo's day, the uh, when they had a uh, a crack in a statue, they would fill it with wax, and uh, they kind of hide the fact that it had a crack in it. And the ones that didn't have cracks in them were called sincere. Hence, that's where we get the sincerely yours. It really means without wax. But, you know, uh, wax worked pretty good. I mean, if you had a vase and you put, uh, put wax in the joints and stuff, it would be okay until you put heat on it. Jesus said you don't take a, uh, a candle, put it under a bushel basket. I wouldn't anyway. It might set the basket on fire. But um, if you had a vase that was wax in it, if you stuck a candle in there, it would melt the wax and the, uh, the light would shine out through the crack. So it's kind of, kind of important, the reason why I'm saying that, is um, we're like a bunch of crackpots. <laughs> we're earthen vessels, and we have cracks. And we try to hide them. We don't use wax, we use other stuff. But we try to hide the cracks, because we're afraid that uh, somebody might see who we really are. But you know, when the, the fire of God comes into your life, it melts the wax. And Jesus shines out through the cracks. So if we would just take the time to let our cracks be exposed more of Jesus might shine through. And you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with anything? Well, I'm going to show you in just a second here. You see, Jesus was standing before Pilate on a dark room because, you know, evil likes to do their stuff in the dark. But there was light coming in from the door behind him. We have Jesus before, before Pilate. And the light shines in, and it comes shining through. You know, uh, Easter is rather interesting. Easter is a... Um, does everybody know how, how you determine Easter? Easter is the first Sunday after the first full moon after the vernal equinox. And um, your Passover is determined by the full moon as well. And so the vernal equinox this year was actually the uh, March the 20th, which is when the last full moon was. So the full moon is Good Friday. And when uh, Jesus was crucified, they had to have him off the cross before sundown because sundown started Passover. 
And so he was crucified on a hill called Golgotha. And um, I've done a picture because the uh, full moon uh, in, uh, back then, which is kind of the same as it is today, but the full moon would have been coming up silhouetting a cross on a hill on a skull. And so that's kind of what it might have looked like. I've done a series on Revelation called, I try to draw what John saw. But so uh, I'm just trying to draw what they might have saw back then. But, uh, uh, you know, if, if, we, if we allow Jesus to come into our hearts and to shine through us, you know, because like I said, we're a bunch of crackpots, and, and it'll uh, shine out among others, and we can see, you know, uh, share Christ's love that way. Thank you.